Hi, it's Marissa again, and uh, this is my second video for today. Um, I shot the first one at like four something this morning, and it was more of just kind of like uh, share, ramble, off the cuff uh, kind of thing, and it went way over 10 minutes. <laughs> um, but uh, that's okay because I feel like I got a lot out of what I wanted to say, and and uh, that's good. Um, but then after I rewatched it, I realized there's probably still a lot more questions that um, everybody might have or even I want to answer. Um, so I want to make a little bit shorter video and this one's going to be more, a little more structured, um, just with some basic questions and answers uh, format about just um, some things that I figure that people might want to know. Um, and I'll answer, I got a list of questions here, and I'll answer them, and, uh, so let's get started. Okay, um, so the first question that everybody, uh, usually <laughs> wants to know, well, let me back up, let me just preface, uh, by saying just a quick update about what's happening, so, uh, basically, um, a few months ago, it was, um, April, March of this year, um, started having some health issues and come to find out that, um, after getting some MRIs and some other scans that there is a lesion in my brain. Um, and lesion doesn't really mean anything specific. It's kind of the word that the doctors use when they don't know what something is. Um, and they, uh, have done many, many tests since then, um, haven't, haven't uh, been able to completely diagnose anything yet. It's uh, apparently something really weird and possibly rare, and it's, uh, I don't know. They, it's, it's stumping them, so none of them can, uh, none of the doctors can agree on what it is, but in the meantime, you know, it's been months and months of kind of not knowing, um, and, uh, some of the symptoms I was having was really bad headaches, some memory vision problems, um, some uh, dizziness, lightheadedness, and uh, with the medicines that they've put me on, I have been able to um, take care of a lot of those symptoms. So that's good that um, at least at the end of three to four months that a lot of my symptoms are better. And I feel like a lot more like my old self again, although a lot more energetic because I'm on steroids. Um, so basically right now um, where I'm at is uh, I have most recently had a brain biopsy where they take a, a tiny needle and basically go into your brain. They drill a tiny tiny hole into your skull and they go into your brain and they take a tiny tiny piece of your brain it's 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 really crazy to think about um and they have a pathologist look at it and see if they can figure out what um what the matter is um that is making up this lesion like what's in there so um that was about three weeks ago they did that and still no answers uh they have been uh they they've they said that they're leaning against any sort of malignancy, which is good. So that would mean like they're saying it's probably not cancer, which is good. Um, but they still don't know what it is, um, even if they're leaning against what it's not, um, which is still weird. It's still a weird place to be, <laughs> especially for months and months. And uh, so. Um, at this point, they've uh, sent off the sample to some different places. Um, I think they sent um, some samples to the Mayo Clinic and the National Institute of Health. And, and um, that's kind of where I'm at right now. And I just kind of take everything um, on a day-to-day -day, uh, basis, um, which is cool. I've actually really been enjoying it. Um, I, I'm not uh, working traditionally right now. Um, any, anything I do, I do from home or, um, just on my own, but, uh, 
uh, being able to kind of take care of myself right now and slow down and just really focus on getting better and getting back to normal um, has been really good and I'm really uh, really glad that I feel a lot more like my myself right now than I did especially about two to three months ago um, I really didn't feel like myself I felt very slow lethargic um, dumb it's a weird thing to think about um feeling dumb when you know you're not dumb and dumb isn't the right word but um feeling like you know the answer or you know a word or you know a memory or you know anything but you can't think of it and it's it's not just like you know getting old and like oh I just can't remember it it's like it really, really bothers you that you can't remember it because you know that you know it, but you can't think of it. And it's so frustrating. And what you end up doing is you give up trying to think about it and it gets really exhausting because that attitude of I give up kind of just permeates a lot of your thoughts. And it can be really kind of depressing to just feel like I just give up thinking because it's too hard to try to find that thought. It's so hard. It's a really weird thing, the, the, the brain and how it works and when it doesn't work, how it affects you and who you are and without getting too deep. I mean, it's all, it's all really weird to think about. Um, so luckily um, I'm on steroids right now that are really improving all of those symptoms I talked about. I feel more alert, like, I can remember words, I can remember things, I feel more like myself, um, more energetic, uh, and so that's good. So um, that's basically what's going on up until now. Um, there's a lot more details in there, but that would take so many more videos. Um, but that's the basic gist. And so to get in to some of the questions that people usually want to know, um, I kind of already did, which is, you know, uh, how do I feel? And I, I mean, I kind of just, uh, told you, uh, basically I, I feel a lot better than I did two months ago. Um, I've been thinking about doing like a, a vlog or a video just to kind of document things or talk about things to people because everybody, I know everybody wants to know and I want to let everybody know, but, um, before now it was not feasible for me to even talk about like still trying to process it myself and like just so much stuff to process so much stuff to process and just even since I've gotten on the steroids um in the past three weeks has really been the biggest change for me even feeling motivated to do anything so I'm taking advantage of that while um, it's happening strike while the iron's hot and so right now I actually feel really good the only downside um right now is with the side effects of the steroids there are pages pages of side effects of steroids and um I basically spend all day managing the side effects which I've gotten really good at because the stuff because the steroids make you energetic so I just get really good at figuring out how to manage the side effects um one of them is is I eat all the time but then I also move all the time and it's I feel like sometimes I feel like a machine like I eat and then I move and then I eat and then I move and I uh I don't eat a lot like I just eat like a little bit every hour but if I don't I get so hungry but um uh Luckily, I've been eating, you know, healthier stuff and not been eating out and stuff like that. So I don't feel as bad about eating more because I'm eating better. Um, so um, hopefully this video doesn't run too long. Let's shoot for 20 minutes. And uh, so, yeah, that, that's pretty much how I feel right now. Um, I actually don't feel too bad. Uh, how do I feel about... Um, the 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 whole experience in general um i guess the previous question was more how am i doing and this question is more how how do i feel about what's going on uh i feel um most days i just feel i just want to feel normal so 
most days I just try to feel normal and um, some days I don't and that's okay but usually if I want to not feel normal I'm very private about it so I'm probably going to do it on my own time if I want to feel bad or sad or mad or any of the kind of lower level emotions. I usually want to do that on my own, although it will come out sometimes <laughs> and that's fine. You, if, if you're around me, you can just, you know, be there or just say, Hey, it's okay. Um, or, um, if you're around anyone else in your life and this happens to, um, you know, all you have to do is just say, Hey, I'm right here. That's all you got to do ever is just let somebody know that you're there. Um, so, um, but most days I feel, most days I honestly, I just don't want to think about it. I just want to feel normal, like lead a normal life. I don't want to think about it all the time because, um, for a long time, like before now, like I did think about it all the time. So it's like any break that I can get from thinking about it is nice. So it's kind of like the last thing I want to do sometimes is like, think more about it or answer more questions about what's going on or think about what's going to happen because I don't know what's going to happen more so than ever, ever, ever. Um, being in the middle of a diagnosis, I don't know what's going to happen. So there's absolutely no zero, zero point in me thinking about what's going to happen. Like none. So I just need to take it one day at a time and and go from there i mean there's there's really no other way um so yeah i don't think about what's gonna happen i mean maybe like what's gonna happen tomorrow like what flavor ice cream i want to get but other than that <laughs> i don't think about much more than that um so that answers that um the next questions um let's see oh it can get a little trying going over the, the same details um, just over and over, um, between the doctors and friends and then family, um, it can get really trying just having to explain over and over again what's happening. And so that's a lot of also why I'm doing the videos to hopefully, um, just kind of get it all out there so I don't have to just keep explaining it over and over and over because of like the things that I just said about how I just want to be like more normal. <laughs> um, okay. So there, are there any like trigger points, uh, about what's going on right now that kind of trigger me? Um, like when people talk to me, uh, I guess like when people expect me to be like more upset, you know, and I'm kind of just like, I'm not like the, I mean, I am like that, but not like I'm in public. <laughs> like when I'm in, when I'm out or like when I just like am not at home, like I want to be like, I just, that's me. That's what I want to be. I want to be solid, you know, um, when I'm at home, yeah, I can go to pieces. That's like my safe place. But when I'm out, like I'm on so uh if I act like I don't know maybe too aloof for someone who's going through this or or I'm not being like emotional enough or I'm not being like reactive enough it's kind of like um it's my thing it's my body it's my life I'm gonna react how I'm gonna react uh and I'm kind of like, I don't really care beyond that. It's like, especially going through all this, it's like, I've learned how to not care a lot. Um, so at the end of the day, it's like, I'm going through too much stuff to really care that I don't care enough for you based on how much you think I should care or whatever. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. Um, let's see. Um, like I said, there are days when I just don't want to talk about it and, um, I'll just say so. I've also through this, um, experience learned to be just kind of more honest because I feel like I don't have time to like beat around the bush anymore. <laughs> so it's like, uh, yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Done. Moving on. 
<laughs> and I'll try to be a little more polite. I mean, I feel like I'm more polite in general now because I feel like I appreciate moments more like people more just slowing down more but but at the same time like I'm way more protective of my own time and space and energy and all of that so I'm not gonna budge um just to be nice uh but I'll be nice if I can so. um a lot of people um want to know what they can do to help and I kind of mentioned that a second ago which is just to be there and this is for any this is for any problem this is for any illness this is for any friend this is for any argument any issue ever the only thing that you ever have to do for somebody that you care about or you want to let you know or you want to let them know that you care about them is all you ever have to do is just let them know that you're there for them that's it you don't have to fix their problem you don't have to solve their problem. You don't have to explain their problem. You don't have to analyze their problem. You don't have to overly care about their problem. You don't have to talk about their problem. You don't have to do anything. All you have to do is you just have to be like, hey, I'm here if you need me. Just let me know. That's it. So easy. And it, and it lets the other person, it kind of puts the ball in the court of the other person, gives them the um, power to kind of like come to you when they want to or when they need to um, because it's like yeah I might need help with something but like I can't think of anything specific right now um, but if I did need help with something I would ask you specifically and I will let you know um, and I might not be able to think of it right now especially like because of like brain issues like it's hard for me to think about things sometimes so it's like to be put on the spot it's like I can't think. <laughs> I have to think about it later. I kind of have to like reorganize my thoughts sometimes or reallocate my thought power <laughs> um, in order to not like overwhelm myself, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely something that anybody can do really with any problem anybody has is just just say that they're there for them if they need them um let's see what is the next question oh i did want i did want to talk about uh i i guess just like i know that like i come off differently right now um and that's to be expected <laughs> I'm just not gonna be the same person right now, especially from like the steroids give me like mood swings and stuff. That's like number 27 of the 50 side effects of steroids. Um, but so like I get like, I get like really angry sometimes at my boyfriend and I'm not like that normally. And I feel so bad, but like he's so understanding. He's been so understanding through this whole thing. He's so amazing and I just, I could not do it if he was not so understanding. I could not do it because I get mad about the stupidest stuff. And I feel so bad afterwards. I'll be like, I'm sorry I got mad about that. I have no clue why I got mad about, like, the way that the dish brush was left. Like, what? I'm not like that. That's, like, what stupid people get mad about. <laughs> like, stupid girls and stuff. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry I said stupid girls. But, like that's not me you know like I'm just not that person like I'm lazy and I don't put the brush places I don't care like no but like right now for some reason it's like bothers me I get like crazy about like the way things are supposed to be or something so I can get really mad and I feel like it's not me and then I apologize like I'm so sorry and if you're on my end of things then that's the best you can do is just apologize and 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 no just be aware just be just being aware and then letting them know that you're aware is is good because at least then you're not just like letting it fester there um but yeah I know that I come off as like kind of a different person right now which I'm not um I'm not disappointed <laughs> and I kind of like the 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 way that things are are right now so I'm just kind of like real go with the flow and well I mean except when I get mad but <laughs> uh 
I, I guess I'm just real okay with, or even actually content with, um, the way that I, I feel or act right now. Um, even if it is different than the way that I normally am before this all happened. Um, so that kind of brings me to the end of, of my, my question and answer list. Um, but we're right at 20 minutes, so that's good timing. And I guess, uh, I guess my last question would be for anybody who's on the other end of a situation like this, where you have a friend or loved one that is going through a health issue and, um, you don't know how to talk to them or, or you want to ask them some questions, uh, you know, just think about how you feel. Um, it's one of the, you know, you always want to think about how the person feels because they're the one going through it, but think about how you feel too. And you can talk to them about it and that's always going to help keep those communications line, communication lines open. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed or got something from this video and uh, I'm sure you guys are going to have a lot more questions and stuff. You can list them below if, if you want or, um, or ask me, um, in any format. Um, and I'll be happy to answer, but, uh, before now I've only talked to, to, uh, really just a very, very small handful of people and have not even felt till now that I even wanted to share more with anybody. Um, so this is kind of a big deal for me to kind of put it out there. Um, and this was the best, this was the way that I thought was the best. <laughs> so it's out there and, uh, let me know what you guys think and I will see you next time.